So here is the Pixel Extended latest ROM which is released for Redmi Note 10 Pro. And in this video, I'll be giving it full review about this custom room. How does it perform in the battery, smoothness and every aspect of this. So if you are new to this channel and watches content regarding to these, you must watch this video until the last and then subscribe to my channel and also give a like to the video. So let's get started to the video. And guys, before starting to the video, I would like to say that I am not well, I am suffering from COVID. That's why I'm not been making videos. So I'll be back and I will try to give videos as soon as possible. So this is the first of all the latest Pixel Extended ROM that I have been using in my Redmi Note 10 Pro for a while time and you can see that it is the 5.7 version. The maintainer is Krishna and we all know it is based on Android 13 latest build so ever and we got the Android security update of 5th April which is according to me is the latest and here is the kernel version of Vantom kernel is being used over there. As you can see the see the build number over there and now if I talk about this uh, first of all smoothness of this room as you can see that I've been us using it at 120 Hz and there is no jitter lag that you want to face right now. If you can face the jitter lag because of the low battery I have uh, uh, not much battery charge of my device but still you can see that there isn't any QS lag there in this device. Also. Not talking about the smoothness, everything has been done. Now this is the customization section and as you can see that this is the PEX extension where you can customize your whole device. I have checked each and every customization that they were working all around fine. And display a double tap, all the things were working normally fine. Not you are getting much of the customizations, anything new. All the things are the, already present in the last builds also. There is only a few of the changes had been given over there like haptic feedback options is there not much of the there so now this talked about all these things now let us talk about what do you say the performance that i have took so far in this device so first of all talking about antutu benchmark i have run antutu benchmark also and you can see that we got these scores right now with a 3.3 .3 degree celsius open temperature all you know that this is the time of summer and in my locality there is 46 to 45 degree celsius Temperature is being going on in the weather, so you can see expect this kind of temperature increase. And this is three percent battery fall. Now, uh, I have took also some other benchmarks that you are find so far, and screenshots. So, this is the already talked about. This is the Geekbench six results, and these were good results that you can say that the sixteen stages just passed. Security level is L1 over there and the, here is the charging time as you can see that for 1 hour 26 minute it charged 81 percentage but in the what do you say charging speeds are not so good but I can recommend this room over the battery also the battery usage is fine in this custom room. Now talking about that uh, everything the uh, benchmarks upon I have tested out now what should I recommend this custom room to you all or not yeah I can highly recommend this pixel extended room in your device because the safety net status does pass all around there isn't any issues with the safety net also the banking apps work flawly without any issues you are not getting any battery uh, less consumption issues in my usage i got generally seven hours of sot so different devices have different kinds of sot sot but yeah you can expect this kind of performance from this not much heavier but yeah in the lighter tone it is best so i can recommend it so if you really did enjoy watching this video you must subscribe to this channel and give a thumbs up to this video and please try to cooperate me i'm not well that's why i'm not making such a video but i will soon back thank you for watching